But many of those deaths are, in fact, teenagers, as we've been speaking about. There's a new study showing that teen drug overdoses here in the United States has risen significantly in the past two years. This is overall drug use remains stable, and actually fentanyl is to blame. How can parents arm their kids and try to give them the tools to stay safe? Joining us to weigh in is an expert from the Newport Institute, Dr. Jennifer Dragonette. Thank you so much for being here, doctor. Uh, let's get right into this because this is such a scary thing for so many people, and we know people who have had their children die uh, from fentanyl deaths uh, like this. How can families identify fentanyl? Um, what does it look like? And that's, that's the scary thing because you might not see it, and you only need this much for it to be fatal. So, so what can parents do? Well, I think education is key, and actually what we just heard is really important that often fentanyl is put in drugs without the user's knowledge. So if we're looking for it, we're not necessarily going to see it with our eyes. It can be very, very small amounts. Um, fentanyl can be in both powder form and liquid form, and it's often added to drugs without be people being aware of it. So things like these test strips are a great idea, um, being able to test drugs of abuse before people use it. Um, and then I think just education around how much fentanyl has made it into both the illegal drug supply and also some of the drugs that people might be taking that they wouldn't necessarily think fentanyl would be in, like cocaine or benzodiazepines. Well, so can, can, can you talk about that just a little more? What, what specific drugs are you talking about is fentanyl found in? So fentanyl is found in a lot of street drugs, unfortunately, at this point, um, heroin, morphine, um, cocaine, benzodiazepines are, are the big ones. Um, but it's a very potent drug. And as we heard, it's very inexpensive as compared to other drugs. So often uh, drug dealers are putting fentanyl into other drugs in various um, proportions because it, it saves them money. And so the only real way to know for sure if fentanyl is in your drug is to be testing for it. So can you talk about, I'm, I'm going to ask you this, it's, it's a little bit aside from what we're talking about, but we just did this story about these, co of these um, test strips that are fentanyl test strips. Is that what you're talking about? How do those work? Because we we're talking about this this morning, and now we have an expert that can, we can ask the question we've been asking ourselves. Do they, if they have a pill, do they rub it on the pill? How, what do you do with those test strips? Yeah, so you actually, you take a small amount of the drug and you, um, you place it in a solution, usually water, and then you use the test strips to test that solution. Um, so you can actually test the actual drug before you're taking the drug. It is a harm reduction approach, of course. We'd rather mm. have people not taking these drugs of right. abuse, but if you are to take it, it's safer to test it. Wow. All right. Let, let's talk about teenagers. Um, who are falling victim to this. And one of our um, people that we have, one, one of the people we have on our set all the time, Dr. Berman, she lost her son, her teenage son, to a fentanyl overdose, an accidental overdose. So that, how can you identify this? What, what, do you, what are the signs that your child might be um, going down the wrong path? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is so tragic. And, and often with teens, it is very accidental, which I think is one of the, the really tragic things about fentanyl. Many people don't even know that they're taking it, or they think that they're taking it to get a little boost in the high that they're going for, but don't realize how lethal it is. So with teens in particular, um, parents want to be looking for signs of drug abuse in general. So changes in friends, um, you know, an increase in irritability, which is tough because teens often do become naturally a little bit more irritable yes. in adolescence, of course. Um, but if you're seeing a major loss of appetite, followed by binges, um, missing a lot of school, if lying to parents increases dramatically, um, you noticeable fatigue, bloodshot eyes, things like that. That can be a sign of drug use. And um, I would say also, if parents are really concerned about their teens, it's probably a good idea to have something like Narcan on hand, which can be used in the case of an accidental overdose. You know, I'm, I'm so glad that we're talking about this because th this drug is so potent. It's so deadly. It, we see in certain cases, if first responders go into, say, a home where mm -hmm. drugs are being sold or being used, they'll sometimes have to clear them out and they'll have to put hazmat suits on just because how dangerous it is. Do parents need to be worried? Let's say they, they go into the room and, you know, you know, God forbid they see the, 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 their worst nightmare come true and perhaps maybe their teenager is overdosing. Is it safe to approach them or are they going to be at risk of, of possibly getting sick as well? No, it would be safe for parents to approach them, but um, there, if there is an, an overdose from something as deadly as fentanyl, there's not a lot of time. Um, the way that fentanyl unfortunately works to lead people toward death is that you stop breathing, um, and often within about two minutes, which is why I recommend having something like Narcan on hand, which can work faster than a, an EMS might be able to arrive on scene. So, for example, if you go into your child's room and they're asleep, is there, you think they're asleep, but you don't know, like what are the signs of overdosing? What, what should parents look for? 
So a fentanyl overdose is, is really deadly and they would not be, um, you'd not be able to awaken them. So um, either there would be no distinguishing it from being asleep. Unfortunately, you would really want to, um, to act very quickly. Um, if you see someone very sluggish or you know, not waking up very quickly, I would say that's also a concerning sign. You probably wanna you know, call 911 as quickly as you could there and, and get some immediate help. Would you would you say anything to to lawmakers perhaps if they're watching? I know that the district attorney in Orange County, Todd Spitzer, he's come down very hard on criminals who are found to have been you know, selling drugs like fentanyl. It, it, is there anything you would say to them? Do we need to change some laws and maybe make some of the punishments a little more serious? I do think fentanyl is one of these things that we're getting more and more awareness of. Um, so I, I agree with you. I think that um, you know the more we can do as a society to come down on this particular drug. Um, you know, generally drugs are not safe for teenagers, but this one in particular, it's it's so insidious, and um, because people often don't know that they're taking mm -hmm. it. The real danger comes into play. Um, the teens might think that they're just using club drugs or experimenting, and they don't realize that they're using something that could kill them even just at the first time they use it. Yeah, it's just terrifying. Uh, thank you so much for sharing your expertise with us. We really appreciate it. Uh, for more drug treatment resources, you can visit NewportHealthcare.com. Thank you again, Doctor. We'll be right back.